what, what I'm suggesting is that's it's very difficult to begin to challenge yourself, but you have to. I, I have no, no problem doing that. But I would say just like for me, for example, I, I love to go to the grocery store, grocery shopping. That's my thing. That's my therapy, I guess. Every day, just about. You know, I don't buy a whole bunch of stuff most of the time. But, but I always stop in the magazine section. And I always go through the magazines, the, the martial art magazines, the runner's magazines, mindfulness, yoga, you know, all, anything, the self-help magazines, whatever. And if I can just find one article, you know, in any of those magazines, I'll buy the magazine. And so I'm always in a place where I'm trying to, to, to recognize what I could be. You know, I spent 26 years as a walking male man in the inner city, but I was always double timed. And that was in that time I was, you know, trying being healthy. So I was double timed in my route. I was a good employee. It was, I was always making good time. So, so when I would go into the, <laughs> I would go and I was double timing it. When I would look for magazines, I look for runners magazines. And I would be doing the things, buying the things that the runners buy, the, the attitudes that the runners have, because I was seeing myself as a runner. Although I wasn't running, I was just walking real fast, but I had envisioned myself as a runner, and that was the environment that I had created for myself. That was the environment my subconscious bought into. That was who I became. And, and it wasn't long after that, well, it was long after that, I went into management. But before I went into management, they wanted to look at my record, see what kind of employee I was, and they were very impressed. But, but I wasn't doing it for the company. I was doing it because I had bought into the fact that I was healthy and this was all part of the environment that I had created. So, so that's what I'm giving you. I'm giving you homework today. You know, if you listen to destructive music, you know, degrading music to people, to women, to anything, to yourselves, any music that's destructive or hateful or any of that stuff, shut it off. You're creating your environment. 